Diana Gray took the homeless strategy officer job three months ago. She says a lot has already begun to transpire since day one. We, uh, in the last year, received a fair amount of money from the federal government for COVID response. We have placed contracts on two hotels that will uh, eventually provide 140 units of permanent supportive housing. Then in February, the Austin City Council passed the $4.3 million HEAL initiative, which identifies four specific campsites that the city will target for rapid rehousing and ultimately permanent supportive housing. The HEAL initiative doesn't explicitly change um, the ability to enforce where necessary, but what it does is really redirect us as staff to not rely on criminalization of homelessness in those spaces, but to be really smart about how we designate spaces as non uh, as non camping. The strategy for these sites involves outreach and then temp shelter resources. After that, getting people into permanent housing and repurposing the original campsites. Back when the resolution passed, many expressed concern that this would criminalize the homeless. How do they plan on closing those areas? How do they plan on, you know, um, making it impossible for people to be there any longer? And, and if you look at the history of how this has been done in the city, um, it's typically been done through policing, through sweeps, through, um, you know, giving citations. We will really be working to promote voluntary compliance. Uh, and then we will be, certainly as a community, um, I think grappling with what enforcement might look like. The city isn't the only entity involved in the HEAL project. Contracts between agencies like Integral Care and ECHO are being developed to present to council next month.